Hello, welcome to Shadows of Judgment. What is Shadow of Judgment? That's where I go and look at all the things that are happening in the background. All of the things that could uh, potentially happen. All the things that are, might be secret, unknown to you. Ooh. All the dirty, nasty things are in the background. We're gonna start with air signs because I tried doing the video with this and then like I kind of like got ugh. So Gemini's, you are up first for the air sign. We're gonna see what's going on in your shadow, right? Listen to the chill music as I shuffle. Oh, your house is not shit. Okay. <laughs> like, lack of closure, I feel like. Or, um, something within the family did not go the way it planned and probably became kind of like one of those, um, I don't know. Ah, uh, God. Okay, I had it and then I lost it. It's kind of like... There was some investment put in, and it kind of like, it's almost like it backfired. And became a burden. And it's not, I, I, I mean, like, the High Priestess could not be talking about it, but, but you're Gemini, so I don't believe that that's the case. I think you're just running around saying whatever it is. Like, that's just you guys. Much appreciated. Can't move forward, possibly dealing with a cancer... This burden's become a death. Someone's keeping their guard up, ex acting extra paranoid. What? Okay. Oh, Lord. Okay, let's see. You want to communicate. Possibly with an Aquarius, maybe. Got the sun reversed right here. Oh, yeah, there's that communication. You do want to communicate, but you're still keeping your guard up about communication. Like, you're not making it a, It's like you're not making it a secret. Or maybe you're actually letting your guard down, as it's actually supposed to be, um... Red. Which I never do. You want a reason to stick around. Aww! Geminis! Look at you! Oh, you're all blushing! That's so cute! Like, something happened right with you guys where something felt like it couldn't move forward and you had anxiety and it was just kind of like or it is could be somebody you're dealing with where it's like you're kind of looking for a love proposal or there's caution with a love proposal too but i don't know because like we got the two of cups here this is actually a nice shadow this is like underlying the surface of things um there might be secrets here that you might not be completely admitting or you're just saying all sorts of stuff honestly it, it it's either or for you take your pick not my business right but i do feel like you want to let your guard down and communicate that you do want a love proposal or you're looking for a reason to stick around right now you currently have a burden that's going on with you that's going to end your unhappiness and possibly bringing you to somebody who is uh, a good match for you even if you do have this love proposal honestly I feel like this could be an either or situation like you're thinking of a love proposal and it almost seems like there's an action that's taken so you guys can get with your person this is a wonderful shadow for you Gemini's look at you but then again, I read yours earlier, and it said, like, nearly the exact opposite. So, I don't know what y'all are actually doing. <laughs> but we are moving on. Libra! It's your turn. Step up, ho of the air lands, of the air nation. I'm sorry, I was watching, like, Avatar, so I'm on my break at work, so it was like... I think it's ridiculous I have to go through another service and pay for it because I can't get it through Netflix or Hulu and it's just kind of like, oh my god, why? Why does it need to be through there? But it's whatever. Anyway, Libra, it's your turn. So let's see what's going on in your shadow. What is underlying? What is a secret? What are you working on underneath? Mm -hmm. Something about family, home. Oh lord. <laughs> Libra, you are looking to end something? Like, look, you got, like, a, a total open door here, and death is on the other side. What is going on with your asses, huh? 
Let me just say, what is happening with y'all? Because, like, sometimes you're all reading... Like, I don't know what goes on with you guys sometimes, because when I actually look at your cards, it's just kind of like... You guys do not look like anything to me and what I see around me. Because I know, like, a few Libra, and it's just like... Y'all are so just different. I don't know. It's just weird, because I'm like, I had a best friend who was a Libra for years, and it was just kind of like, mmm. You think you know someone. Oh! Got clarity. Like, you guys are always a mystery. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, definitely wanting to end something. Either with another person, or they're wanting to end it with you, or something was disconnected here, like a sever. It just was abrupt. Okay, what? Alright, Libra. I, okay, you know, I gave Gemini shit for flip-flopping, right? Just because I did this earlier and then I fucked it up. Um, this is like saying the exact same thing twice. But in a different volume. These are, this is two people with one ending it. This is a group of people and death. Like, either way, both of these are ending, and it's like there is a clarity moment between these two. It's like a generational end, too. Something about insecurities. You are just... That's your card. <laughs> you are a woman scorned. Oh, God, there is betrayal here. I think you... Uh, I feel like you lost your mind, but it's whatever. You know, it happens. Like, no worries, but, you know, put the... Put, uh, put the gun down, young blood. <laughs> you know? Like, stop aiming your sword at everybody. You know? Yeah, something didn't end right, or something didn't work right with the Queen of Wands, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. A cycle was completed without any sort of love offer here. Which makes sense, because, like, what was that one moon? I can't remember what it is now. It was a moon... It was a particular, um... Uh, sign that I that I did a, a nightly reading for, because I usually do my readings at night. And, um... I said... I think it was even after it, when I was, like, going on, like, some spiritual shit or whatever. Um... That that particular full moon, like the clock was up, or like the clock, like time was running out, and it's like the cycle ended without a love offer of some sort. And it was just like almost someone like regretting they didn't take a leap of faith, wanting to even apologize for not taking that leap of faith, or for their shitty behavior. One of the two, you take it, either or. Someone in here with this with this shadow. What? That bitch sounded like that one chick from the Beck song. <laughs> um, what is that song called? Hell yes. Yes. I'm moving the floor. I'm kissing the floor. Please enjoy. Hell yes. You know, like that song right there. That's what that kind of reminded me of a little bit. Um, let's see. Doot. Doot. Doot and doot. Okay, so here, you get a lot of cards, Libra. Apparently your shadow is fucking exploding with some shit, right? Sorry I was so quiet. But like, um, someone wants to move to a victory in order to get a love proposal. Or someone was had a victory with a love proposal. Or looking for a reason to stick around. Or something. Or someone wanted a, a reason to stick around. They thought they would get a victory somewhere. Looking for this stuff. But it's like what they didn't think of. Literally, what they didn't think of was that no love would be offered and this Knight of Pentacles could be Capricorn Taurus Virgo or a Scorpio Cancer Pisces, both of these people. Like, someone didn't offer their love and in fact they went the other way with their horse. Someone was just like, yeah, you can have this dead fish. His name is Ted, not Fred. And Ted likes to bury people in coffins, you know? Well, that was kind of dumb. That it actually didn't make any sense. But anyway, yeah, it's like someone didn't think that this was going to come about. So anyway, your Shadow Judgment Libra. Let's see. I'm gonna go cover this. Oh my god, I need to eat something. I don't even know why I'm hungry. I've been eating all day. I actually need to go on a diet because I'm starting to get fat, and that's not good. 
affects the heart. Uh, yeah, somebody definitely ended up, like, okay, like I said before, these two, right here, these two rows, are the exact same thing. The only difference is, someone was betrayed, BETRAYAL, and someone lost their shit. Dude, I almost feel like some like okay, this Knight of Wands. It's like from the betrayal. It's almost like he's trying to move to this Queen of Pentacles. And over here, with I feel like you, Libra. It's like you need to surrender something or pass something to deal with this Queen of Pentacles. She's just like you know, what are you bringing me? I'm not giving you shit. You know, that's kind of what she's saying on her little goat throne right there. She's just like, what are you bringing me? What do you want? What do I get out of it? She's in total business mode. She's not even giving a shit about your feelings as she's saying this shit. She will purposely make you cry if you bring her nothing to you. That's the kind of bitch we're dealing with. Could also be an unfaithful spouse, so you might be dealing with somebody who broke up your fa- Ooh, fuck. Dude, okay, hold up. Complete change of perspective on me, right? Someone is completely insecure about a relationship and they're acknowledging this now. And what I feel like is on this side was, and I'm going to say this as bluntly as I can, please don't be offended, Libra. I feel like this was the second option to somebody you couldn't get. And it left you really pissed off and a scorned woman. You know, it left you really insecure about some shit, you know? All stemming right here. Possibly with this bitch in the center. I'm a little fucked up right now. Like, I'm just looking at this like, why are these the exact same? And then I just tap and, yeah. Um, this could have been a person you really wanted to, and the connection severed because you were scorned, or something happened, or it drove you insane that this connection was cut off at some point. And it's like, if you felt like you needed to surrender something, either because, like, this person demanded a lot, or I don't know. But she's definitely asking a bunch from this motherfucker. Or this King of Wands who's running away from this um, betrayal is an unfaithful spouse who um, doesn't produce as much as they demand to be um, taken care of other than they take care of somebody else. It's like they can produce the money, they can give the money, but it's like, what the fuck do I get out of it? It's like it's always about them and it's kind of annoying you, I feel like. Um, so it doesn't have to be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. It can be. But I feel like it's this Knight of Wands, because it's like, he's the booty call dude. He runs to booty. And it's like, he's running to her booty. And it's just like, is she the booty that he's running to? Or is this somebody he's running in order to help cover his tracks? Or is this him himself being an unfaithful spouse who you are patiently waiting for surrender from? That's what I, like, I'm sorry, Libra, that's what I feel like, I feel like you're, at some point, acknowledging your insecurities about a relationship that you didn't have. It's almost like, um, damn, it's almost like you fell in love with somebody and you didn't even know it. And then you got with this person. And then they just fucked everything up, and, and now you're just like, well, goddamn, what am I supposed to do now? What am I supposed to do with this fucking idiot? Who keeps going to little miss? It has to be about me. I'm not giving up shit. You know? That bitch. Right? Either way, potentially, who knows what this bitch is giving him in response to. Because she's also got her pentacle and it's still giving it to him. She just demands a price. You know? So, keep that in mind, Libra. Um, I feel like you need to be very careful, though. Because, like... I don't know. There's something wrong here. <laughs> like, I, there's something wrong. Like, you guys have been dealing with shit. So I don't know. But last but not least is Aquarius, who are notorious. And they be my moon sign. I may not look like you, but I am still one of you at heart. Well, kind of, I guess. Well, yeah, I guess. Maybe that's why I'm so weird, because I'm an Aquarius moon. I saw, like, the funniest, um, thing the other day on the internet where it was just, like, Aquarius Moon, I need more friends, and then it showed a picture of Aquarius Moon, like, right after just sitting on their couch by themselves, after canceling all plans and whatnot, being alone, and it's just like, yeah, it's kinda like that. It's home. 
Oh, okay. You got an empress and secrets. You got an empress who's pissed and secrets. She's looking right at that like, what do you know, bitch? <clears throat> well, I can tell you with you. I want to know it all. You know? <laughs> like, someone wants some answers. This woman is mad. She is bitter. And this uh, high priestess, she will strangle her to get some answers. Uh, we got Queen of Wands, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. The high priestess speaks of regrets that cannot be gotten over, forgiven. They're, it's like they can take the, cu the cups behind them and get the fuck over it on the bridge, because that's what it's for. Go to the mall down here, go shopping. That's what that shit's for, right? Joy and making you forget bullshit. Ah, and it goes to the ground. Betrayal! Okay, she's mad because she was betrayed. We got the Queen of Wands just looking at it all over here. Very immature woman, I would say. Like, if you actually look at her, she's like one of the few, um... Uh, actual court cards who her clothes fit correctly. Well, her clothes actually, I mean, they don't fit correctly. Like, if you actually look at her... Most of her garb is actually um, way too big for her. She looks very small. Childish. Or childlike, not childish. Because two different things. Right? Yeah, she ain't saying shit. Okay. <laughs> She's just looking at this betrayal and this angry empress. Standing between the secrets about the regrets. Um, God, you guys are just dropping in unusual places today, cards. Something ended because of these regrets. Some sneakiness that got caught. Oh, I got caught being a shithead. That's what happened. That's what I feel like. I feel like someone got caught doing something. Oh. Oh. That Empress is definitely manifesting something. Boop. Ew. Okay. So... This is what I got for you, Aquarius, right? Your shadow of judgment. There are secrets here about shit that, like, um... Happened. Could have been third party. Somehow, one way or another. And, like, it just ended things. And now, excommunication. Lack of commitment. Divorce. Things didn't come together. Mutiny. Everyone's coming, possibly, against this, um authority figure right here and it could be a taurus or someone could have taurus in them doesn't necessarily have to be we got libra gemini aquarius we got aries Ta and taurus as well um this is just everybody so everybody's actually on the board we also have a uh, sag leo and aries so everyone's pretty much on the board just because of him but you know we got to list out the significances right now this queen of wands up here she is standing in front of this empress, looking all innocent and childlike, while also blocking out the empress, giving out these secrets. I feel like this person does regret what happened, and they would put an end to it, but it's just like, they don't want to say, this queen, this, um, this queen of wands is just sitting there smiling all childlike, and it's just like, hello! Nothing's bad today, and it's just like, they don't want to talk about it, and they will actually run away from this empress, who definitely wants to know about this betrayal! And, because I don't think she's getting any answers, manifestation mode. I want to draw one more on that magician. Actually, I want to know what this empress reverse could possibly be manifesting. It could be a Taurus, it could be an Aries, it could be Libra, lots of Venus energy from her. Wanting to manifest a partnership possibly from the past that someone when older walked away from. Man, I hope I rolled up my windows. I think it's raining. It looks like it's either raining. Or maybe it's not raining. Maybe it's just getting that dark. I can't tell because daylight saving this time is bullshit. Anyway. That is your reading, Air Signs. You guys have a good day. Love you. Bye-bye.